Welcome to a Quest for Metal. Today we are ranking Asphyx albums from my least favourite to my favourite. Asphyx is one of my favourite death metal bands of all goddamn time. Martin is a fucking amazing vocalist. Holy shit. His vocals are amazing and Across the Ross, which came out just, well, this fucking year, was so goddamn good. Um, it should be my number one of the month, to be honest. It should have been my number one of the fucking month. So in hindsight... We're going to change that. That's going to be one of the month because it's my most played new album of 2021. That's how good it is. But we're here to talk about the whole discography from my least favorite to my favorite. And you know how it goes. You've seen these ranking videos before. Let me know down below what's your favorite, what's your least favorite. And let's get started. So coming in last for me is Embrace the Death. Now, picking a least favorite was kind of easy. Embrace the Death was is pretty much my least favourite, and there's nothing bad about this album. Um, it just doesn't hold a candle to any of the other fucking albums by Asphyx. It is kind of, um... It's a bit weak. The songs are a bit weak. Um, it's, it's supposed to be an album before the debut, so it should have come out before the rack. And there's also an EP on this mixed in. It all sounds a bit shitty <laughs> like the production and stuff on this one doesn't sound quite up to standard and the songs don't quite hit as hard as some of the other albums so you know all that being said it is my least favorite easily and it's yeah it's coming in last embrace the death so now it gets harder god cries is next god cries what an amazing album quite doomy you know and quite a bit of a step up from embrace the death in my opinion i like this one a lot more Songs like God Cries, how good is that? And My Beloved Enemy, woo! Fear My Greed, The Blood I Spilled. It's a short album, but it packs a punch. All these songs are doomy, thick, dripping with ooze, dripping with mud. But I don't think it's the best one again they've done. Don't think it's the best one they've done. Quite a lot of albums without Martin on vocals. And they're my least favourites. Gotta be honest, they're my least favourites because his vocals are so fucking just unique. And just like raspy and it sounds like he's in pain when he's singing. Not the same vocalist on this one so automatically not as good <laughs> in my opinion. But compared to a lot of other fucking death metal bands this stands tall above the rest. Still does even without Martin at the helm. Still stands tall above the rest so pains me to put it here but it's going here. Now it's onto the wings of Inferno. Another furious and fast album but again again not my favourite vocalist but this one is another step up. Holy fuck. This sounds evil. This is a very evil sounding album. And from the album cover, you know it's going to be evil. Like kind of fucking swirly coffee demon thing. Swirling with clouds. Jumping at you. Hell yeah. Summoning the storm. The scent of obscurity. Oh, starting off strong on this album. And it even gets better. It even gets better. The wings of Inferno. And marching towards the sticks. Hell yes. Starts off strong. And strong, strong in the middle. This is a great Death Doom album, and it is one of my favorites. But come on, they have too many good ones. Too many good ones. So again, pains me to put it this low. But for my own ranking, it's coming here. Speaking of, pains me to put it this low. The self-titled Asphyx. So those ones we talked about, the ones we talked about were really good Death Doom albums. Really good. This one is a masterpiece. This one should be my top three. Really should, but again, I'm a sucker for the fucking vocals. But yo, do not pass this one off. I'm gonna give this one a fucking 10 out of 10. It's this low down, but holy shit. Holy shit, it's good. If you love Death Doom, you have to listen to this album. It's a bloody masterpiece. People who don't like me saying masterpiece, well, stick it in your ass, because this is a fucking masterpiece. Depths of Eternity, so sludgy. Till Death Do Us Apart. Ho ho. Thoughts of an Atheist, a lot longer album. This is almost like 60 minutes long. This one feels kind of like Funeral Doom. There's a lot of very slow, slow, very slow kind of bringing you down like you're in a swamp, a blood swamp, which we might get to soon. And it's just, you can't get out. You can't get out. You're breathing in all the blood and shit in the blood swamp and you're fucked. You're basically fucked. That's what the feeling of this album is and I love it. Beautiful album, one of my favourites of all time, and it's only fucking here. Next up is Incoming Death, an album that loads of people put low. Um, I'm not putting it low, it's got Martin on the vocals, the first album with Martin on the vocals in this list. 
It's one of the later ones, but I don't see the hate for this one. This is riffy as all fuck. The other one's a bit more doomier. This one is a bit more riffier. Um, I see like a lot of the later ones like Death Hammer, Incoming Death, um, Necrosa Ross. There's a lot of like bolt throwery kind of riffs on here, and this riff's fucking hard, and that's why I love it. It came from the skies. What a goddamn banger. War Droid as well. War Droid is one of my favourite songs I've ever done. How amazing is War Droid? And title track as well, Incoming Death. There's a lot of great songs on this one. Very bolt throwery, just like a couple of others we'll get to soon. Oh, I love it. I love it. I don't see the hate for this one, so I'm putting it high. I'm going to give it some love. Me. Questy. Going to give it some love. Next up is Death Hammer. Death Hammer. The song, which is like, what, like two minutes long? What a goddamn masterpiece. One of the best songs I've ever done, and it should be way fucking longer. Should be way goddamn longer. Minefield is fantastic as well, but my favourite on the whole album is Der Lanzder. Holy shit, Der Lanzder is fucking insane. Der fucking Lanzder. That's gotta be my top 10 ASIC songs of all time. Beautiful fucking song. Go re-listen to it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go re-listen to Der Lanzder, and you will fucking thank me for it. You'll thank me for it. And come on, as the Magma Mammoth rises, what a beautiful song title, and what a great way to end off the album. Death Hammer, Jamie loves it a lot. He loves it more than me, I think. I still love it, but there's another one I like more, and we'll get to that right now. It is Death the Brutal Way. I hold this one in high regard, a bit higher regard than Death Hammer, just for my own personal taste, uh, just because it hits you straight into the face. As soon as you press play on this album, you get shook. You get shook into oblivion. <laughs> as soon as you press play on this album, you basically, your eyes are fucked. You just, pfft, your ears are just bleeding. You're like, whoa! That's how intense it is starting off this album. Scorbutix. Scorbutix is one of the best openers they've ever fucking done. Beautiful song. Blood Swamp. Oh, Blood Swamp. My little an analogy before. <sighs> that song sounds like you're wading through a blood swamp. And it's all so juicy. Asphyx 2. Oh, what a beautiful song that one is as well. And the Saw, the Torture, the Pain. Kind of reminds me of Blood, Sweat and the Tears. <laughs> but this is way fucking better than Machine Head. Way fucking better. Beautiful album. Love it from start to finish. Love the war themes. Love how intense it is. Love the riffs on it. Another riffy album like Death Hammer. Yes, this album is fucking amazing. Coming in at number three is the latest album. Necrosseros. How... Beautiful is this album. Three Years of Famine. Ha, ha, what a builder of a song. An epic song. And I adore it. Also, Botox Implosion. How fucking amazing is that when it just comes with a bleh? And it starts laughing and... Come on, Botox Implosion. Fucking amazing song as well. Knights Templar Stan with the Deus Vault. Come the fuck on. This album's amazing. I'm tempted to put it up to number two, but the other two are fucking classics, man. I can't, I can't, I can't do it, but I love this album to pieces. It's one of the best this year. And if you don't have it on the end of the year list, there's something fucking wrong with you. Necrosseros. And, and the way you say Necrosseros as well, and the song Necrosseros, ah, ah, it's like an evil plague rhinoceros. This album's too good, and I love it, so... Yeah, it's coming in. Number three. So number two is The Rack, the debut. And when I heard this, I was like, I heard the last one on Earth first, and then I heard this, and I was like, nothing's ever going to beat that. And this almost fucking did. This almost goddamn did. I mean, it didn't, but almost. And that's, that's the key here, because these songs are still classics. I mean, the title track, The Rack, is one of the best songs they've done. Vermin's fantastic as well. Wasteland of Terror Evocation, yeah. This is a classic for a reason. It started off strong as hell. Very evil, very doomy, very kind of like Autopsies, Mental Funeral, and Severed Survival, but this is more doomy, I think. More doomy than that. And the vocals, you know, Martin's on this fucking album, and he delivers the fucking goods, and it's glorious, but it can only be one. And my favourite has always, and will always be, Last One on Earth. I mean, starting off with MS Bic Bismarck. That is the greatest opener in Death Doom history. MS Bismarck. I don't know how to fucking say it. But MS Bismarck is 
just uh, the, the fucking melody, the riff in it. It's too catchy. Um, this is the greatest Aspic song ever made. Simple. Fucking simple. Starts off the album with a bang and it just keeps getting better and better. Last one on Earth. The Incarnation of Lust. Aspic's The Forgotten War. Yeah. Yeah, this, this album is a masterpiece. It's perfect. Easily my number one. My favourite Aspic album of all time. So that was my list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves. Let me know down below what's your favorite Aspects album of all time. Let me know and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.